Welcome to another Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. I'm Miss Kimberly, and it's Thanksgiving, so we are going to draw the cornucopia or the fruit basket. So remember to pause as you need to work at your own pace, and let's get started. Here's a fun fact about the cornucopia. It actually means horn of plenty. So it is overflowing with fruits and produce. So the first thing we're going to draw is a pumpkin. So notice the first shape I drew is like an oval flat on the sides. And then I'm going to make some rounded shapes like a half moons off of that. And then do that one more time. This is my pumpkin tilted on its side, and now I need a stem, so a little curve line at the top. And finish that, we've got our little pumpkin ready to go. Moving on to the next vegetable, which is a squash. Notice the size, the bottom is bigger than the top, and now our stem, those little leaf, will come to a point. You can add a little stem, erase the lines you don't need in the middle, and now let's balance with grapes on the other side. Grapes are easy. They're just circles. But if it's a circle behind, make sure you don't draw the entire shape so it looks like some are sitting in front and some are behind. Now we've got our bunches of grapes. I added one little line for a stem and two little leaves. Remember, this is a symbol of abundance and nourishment. So let's add some apples. Apples are like circles, but at the top of it, add just a little indentation. And then below that, we'll just curve out a line where our stem will come out of. Let's do that one more time, drawing the apple the same way. Let's add some corn. Over by the apples, I'm adding what looks like a torpedo. And then I'm gonna add the stalk around it, the green part. Notice those edges come to a little point. And then inside my corn, I'm gonna draw some lines. This will give me an indication of how the kernel's going. Notice my lines coming down are just slightly curved. That gives the idea that the corn is rounded. I'm gonna do one more of those. Here's another one. And then, kind of like my little leaf-like look, coming to a point at the end. And then my corn, give it little lines. Lines straight down, and then the other direction. Curve those lines slightly to give it that rounded effect. Great job. Just for fun, I'm gonna add some extra grapes at the bottom for balance. You can add anything extra or leave it just as it is. Okay, let's draw some wheat. This is how we're gonna do it. First, draw a little slightly curved line, and then off of that, we're gonna have these, kind of like a leaf that comes to a point or an oval that comes to a point. And we're gonna just rotate that up and then at the very end, just give me some straight lines that come off of that. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to draw a straight line, which is my stem and my indicator of which way it's going to go. And then now I rotate back and forth between my little leaf-like shape with some long lines that come off the end. And that is your wheat. Now it's time for the basket. Or notice that the shape of it is supposed to resemble the goat's horn. It is the cornucopia of pleasures. Start off by giving me a curved line or a rainbow-like line just over top of all your food. And then from there, we're having a small little curved line, one on top of the other, going right around the basket giving it a basket weave look. We're gonna do that same kind of drawing as we add to the top of the basket. Every line is gonna have a slight curve to it and it's gonna come in a little smaller than the last. 
And as you stack those lines, make sure that you curve it out so it looks like the horn. And now my friends, you are all done. It is time for coloring. And as you color, find multiple shades in every object. So you have lights and darks. And inside the basket, it's gonna get darker because there's less light in there. Pick a side that will have the lighter shades and then the opposite from that will be the darker shades. This will help your images pop off the page. Thank you so much for doing another Draw at Home with Tupperberry Art. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, come back and do more drawings with me, and have a wonderful Thanksgiving.